on that shit, motherfucker. What, what you know about this? Then we go. Hey folks, how are you doing? I hope you're doing great. Welcome to this new video. Um, this is a very special place to tell you the story of how I ended up being in New York for the last month, meeting the most important agencies and the most talented folks in our industry. And I wanted to tell this story from here because everything started from here long, long time ago. Uh, if you watched uh, the one of the previous videos I made for the channel. Uh, you might know my story, so you know that I'm from a very small village in Italy, and this is, uh, this is a great place, but this can be a very tricky place to live in if you are a very ambitious guy and you know you want you know kind of break the system and the rules and all this stuff. And, you know, I always feel very dis disadvantaged compared to other guys and kids that were growing up in New York City or Los Angeles. And the answer is not, it's never about complaining. Each one of us starts the game with a different starter pack, you know? And my starter pack was living here and, you know, doing certain experiences and stuff like that. And no matter what is your starter pack, you can achieve anything. But it really depends on you and really depends on how you look at things and how you want to shape reality. So let's talk about New York City. What is really important is what is behind New York and the story, what brought me to New York. So this, this journey really starts a long time ago. I was there to meet people and to be in person and to bring my story to the, to the people that I want to work with. So that was something necessary. And that was something that I couldn't really do in the last few years because I had to deal with a certain condition with my body and I couldn't really move from here. This particular condition I was in, um, basically a couple of years ago, really brought me in a very dark place. I couldn't see my life anymore. I couldn't see how I could live a normal life. I couldn't see anything. You know, it, it was just a mess. It was just a disaster. I don't know. I was just waiting for something. And in that darkness, I could, something happened because I saw that the little flame that is burning within all of us, which I thought that was eventually um, gone, it wasn't really gone, you know? And what really lit up a vision inside of me was the, f you know, was New York. And you, you might wonder, like, why New York? I have no idea, guys, to be honest. If I could be in New York, it would mean that I'm really healthy and fine and everything. You know, if I close my eyes, I could, I could smell the city. I could see it. I could feel it. I could, I was experiencing on my body the feeling of being there, like completely. And I was feeling very good about it, you know? The only thing that I could do was pursuing this feeling of wellness, of I feel good, you know? I feel good when I envision me being in New York. So this eventually has been a very powerful thought that brought me to a destination. Like I had a destination in mind, which was I had to recover to being in New York and to experience in my real life those feelings. The second thing was the journey because, okay, I want to be in New York, but to get there, I have to do something. I have to shape a journey and have a few boxes that I have to check that eventually, one after the other, they can lead me to New York. And after I set up the journey, I had to set up like the, the daily actions and rhythm that I had to repeat every day in order to check, to check the boxes 
and in order to find myself in New York. Uh, it's been a very long journey, but I was very focused and concentrated and I was totally down with that. I was like, is there any alternatives? Like, can I do something else? No, this is the only thing that counts, you know? I have to be there. I have to do this. I have to recover. I have to, I have to come back. You know, with a lot of effort and fatigue and a lot of ups and downs, I made it because I could heal from my condition. As I did that, I booked a flight to New York. You know, the pattern that I was talking about, it's something that it's not really about New York. It's about everything because in your life, we're not talking about New York. It could be anything. It could be a goal. It could be a person. It could be anything, you know, but the pattern is always the same. You set up the destination, you set up the journey the boxes that you have to check in order to get there and you set up the daily actions because at the end of the day life is happening right now it's not happening tomorrow it's not about the past it's not about the future it's about now because otherwise if you don't set up like your daily actions and rhythms you really get into some anxious spirals right so your dreams end up like sucking your soul out of your body but it's not the way they're meant to be you know, once I could, you know, find myself in New York, I had to meet those people. And that's what is really good about this industry, if you're a musician in this industry, that the path is really clear, you know, because if you're a musician, like you make songs and everything, so you go to New York, which is great, but then what, what you're supposed to do. Instead, what was the destination? To meet as many people as I could in the industry. Okay, what was the journey? The journey was if I reach out every day to 10 people, Eventually, probably somebody's gonna come back and probably I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a few uh, replies back. And so the daily actions was to be on LinkedIn every day and practically like reach out to those folks every day. So what happened is that I met some of the best guys in the industry and it's been great. And hopefully for Zienko and Tommy Zienko, it's gonna be great as well in the future. But that's the point, like we keep going. This is the great lesson uh, behind the New York story, um, which is defining this pattern that is eventually the game changer in our lives. Everything is possible, but it really depends on your attitude. It really depends on the way you want to approach your life that's what makes the difference so don't think you're disadvantaged because you're not if you think about that it's just about like you have to educate your mind to look at things in the right way if you look at something in the in a kind of negative way it's it's your problem it's not reality it's your problem you have to change you have to shift the perspective that's why in the masterclass that we have, where we teach about the industry and everything like that, there's a huge part about this. Because if you don't have the right approach, if you don't have the right attitude, you're not going anywhere. And it's not really about talent. This is something that you have to build. You have to build certain habits, you know, of thinking. How you find your destination? Well, you find your destination, it's pretty simple. When you feel good about something, that's your destination. That's what you want to pursue because you feel good and that's what you do. And you might ask and you might wonder, but yeah, but you know what, what, what about this? What about that? You know, guys, what I found out is that when your mind gets really aware about the feeling that you, you could be dead tomorrow, uh, everything changes completely because that's reality. Like we can all be dead tomorrow. And so the question is clear, like, why, sh why should we worry about something? Do you feel good about something? Do it. Feel it. Jump. And then you improvise. You know, you figure it out as you do it. There's no point. Like, the, why you should worry about something? And this is very powerful, but nobody's really aware of that. Until you get close to losing everything. And so you say, you know what? God gave me a second chance and I'm not going to waste it for what for like paranoia for overthinking i don't think i'm gonna do that anymore i'm just gonna go for it and i'm just gonna and i'm just gonna you know have fun doing that uh 
So, folks, I hope this uh, story, uh, like the, this lessons about this journey to New York, were useful to you. I hope you appreciated that. Uh, leave a comment. Let us know how you deal with these things. If you have particular stories to share, uh, we would be very happy to read them. And if you, if you're not yet into the academy, well, my invitation is pretty. Uh, open to you because I think you're going to get a lot of value out of that and if you want to make a living with music from your home studio I do this from here like I you know I produce campaigns from I was in New York and I was producing a campaign for Japan I'm here in a small village and I produce campaigns for the whole world you know so if you want to know more about this industry there's a, f a free one hour training in the link in the description below and that will explain everything to you. So guys, I hope this finds you well and I'll see you in the next video and see you in the, in the inside. Ciao.